so we are on episode seven love island welcome to the commentary on the nutshell of dunch, 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 dunch. <laughs> Uh, I have somebody here who is quietly judging me. But let's just make it quick. Because ain't nobody got time to be concerned about judgments. Now do we? No, we don't. So, episode 7, what happened? Is that we have a new girl in the villa that's not a villa, okay? Um, Yeah, new girl Laura. So, this chick... It's British. It's a British babe that lives in LA. Hmm. Quite suspect. Actually, I'll be honest. The first time she came on, I thought her accent sounded kind of fake. I'm just going to say it. I think she's like, I thought she was an American chick pretending to have a British accent. Because we all know LA is where all the aspiring actresses and actors go. But whatever just that's just the hater in me talking so apparently she's from london and everybody thinks she is drop dead gorge and as we know the viewers have been voting for who she's going to go out on a date with so i predicted earlier on that she would go out with johnny that that's who america would choose anyways we'll get to that at the very end of the commentary because that's when they revealed who was going to be her date anyways so she comes into the villa and she's dropped it gorgeous she has a nice flowing hair and you know she just has this aura this mysterious aura about her and everybody is about it the girls all say oh they're not threatened but then they're all how do I put it? They all acknowledge that she's a hardy toddy. Does that even make sense? Sure. Yeah. She's a cutie patootie. And the boys are all like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> just say she's hot, but they're trying to act like they're totally unfazed by her, but then they can't keep it together. And everyone who's in a couple is like, oh, yeah, you know, I feel like I'm in a. I'm in a good place with my partner right now and out of respect for the person that I'm with I'm not gonna make the first move blah 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 so she's 29 obviously one of the oldest people in the house all the dudes are kind of younger and she said that she's into she dates younger guys normally so that's not gonna be a problem until it's gonna be a problem so initial impressions of the guys Trey was feeling her 100%. You know, Trey never hides his feelings. But I like how he conducted himself. I thought he was going to be all caveman on her, but he wasn't. Actually, none of the guys were. Surprisingly, um, Connor, somebody who thought wouldn't get his head turned, was actually like into her. But I like how he carried himself. He was a gent the entire time given the fact that Tim and Mackenzie are very strong so far in the villa. Um, the girls were very welcoming and very warm. None of them were shady at all, and I liked that. But if I were in that situation, you know, you know the girl would be hella shady. Would I be shady? No, I wouldn't be shady. I think I'd be warm and welcoming, but... <laughs> If she tried to get my mans, it would be a problem. It would be a problem. Is your chick coming to city? Oh yeah, I just want a couple of minutes with you. No, move on. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I think I'd, I'd feel a tip away. But then I wouldn't be like um, super, super possessive of other guy. If you want to talk to her, talk to her. If she wants to talk to you, talk to you. But you know somebody gonna wake up dead. <laughs> somebody gonna turn up missing. <laughs> Remember that joke? I forgot who told it. How do you wake up dead? And how do you <laughs> turn up missing? Like, get it? The irony in that phrase? <laughs> 
anyways um my initial impressions i'm just honestly i've been different she didn't spark any form of interest in me i'm just here for the drama i'm here to see the moves that she's going to make she is definitely the one to stir the pot 100 percent. even though she might come across as somebody who has it all together and she does but the drama is not beyond her so obviously everything is going well in villaville <laughs> villaville <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can tell corny jokes sometimes, hey? <laughs> it's a crime. But anyways, everything is going on well. Everybody is getting along with each other except for... Okay, not really except for until... Um, Justine actually pulls Trey aside and she's just like, Listen, I think our the pace we're going at is really, really slow. And... That doesn't normally happen for me. And um, I think we should take the opportunity to get to know, what's her name? Laura much better now that she's here. And if something happens, something happens, you know? Whew. Whew. I was not expecting that. I thought it would be Trey to kind of give friend zone Justine, but then like, whew, did not see that coming. Um... She hasn't really friend zoned him. She says she's being honest, but let's just call it what it is. It's a friend zoning someone. I think definitely Trey needs to pursue Justine and not just treat her like a homie that will turn into wifey overnight. That's just not what happens, okay? We know how guys are when they like a chick. They're all over her and he's just not giving her that energy. So... I think he should give it a shot. I don't think he should head over to Laura's way. I think she will chew him up and spit him out for breakfast. Like, he has no chance. Plus, when he actually went to the confessional, he sounded hurt. He sounded hurt. And then after that, he went to speak with Laura. And then Laura is just like answering all his questions blah 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 but it's super cliche like the questions he's asking are just like typical player questions like oh yeah you know tell me something about you that i that nobody knows or that i don't know Psht. you have beautiful eyes you know you have beautiful like come on come up with something fresh so yeah not really falling for those lines i prefer his interactions with justine um yeah those are my thoughts so far i can't okay so now no, let me get to the gist so towards the end of the episode they're all around the a table whatever they're all dressed up and then a text comes in and it is the long-awaited text to see who would be picked to go on a date with her all the while, mind you, everybody has been talking about how they want to be respectful to their partners. But then in their boy clubs, in their yeah boy club meetings, they're all talking about how they're so attracted to her, how she is their type. Carrington, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about Carrington. Carrington was Tim Kirsten from day one. But then as soon as Laura walked through that door, you could see, I knew it and I called it in the beginning. I thought... She would be the one to initiate it, but actually Carrington is the one who actually, when they had some chats, was expressed the interest primarily. And Laura, and Laura is like, yeah, I'm just pulling everyone aside. I want to get to know everyone. She wasn't really like zeroing in on a particular person. I stand corrected. She did. Johnny. When she was having private chats, but it was pretty much all the same except with Juani. But with Carrington, even with the boys, it was just like, listen, I liked the conversations I was having with her and she on paper is my type and she seems to be the kind of girl who will give me growth. And I'm like, okay, Kirsten, here yeah, I was thinking that you would jump ship. And then it turns out that it's actually your boy who's about to jump ship. But then he was trying to assure her and console her and tell her oh you don't need to have to worry about anything we're just having conversations and the chicks all seem to be cool until people have conversations with new girl laura and like they it ends in tears either in the confessionals or just in public so 
the girl is killing. She's killing dreams. She's breaking hearts there. Um, yeah, her and Johnny had a super flirty conversation. Was I feeling it? Kinda, but I'm kind of disappointed because these guys are like, oh yeah, I respect you. I respect my partner. And like, I think the definition for of respect is different for guys. For chicks, we're all like, respect equals loyalty. But for guys, it's just respect while uh, <laughs> you're out with us in in public okay in private in private we'll be as disrespectful as we can be or inappropriate with the other person that you're threatened by but we we're not gonna do that to you we're not gonna do it in your face but believe you me if we could see those private files somebody gonna turn up missing <laughs> anywho so back to the the evening so everyone thinks it's gonna be like a, a truth and or dare game or some game that ends up in kissing and the boys are practicing how they're all gonna kiss laura and the girls are all talking about how they feel like something's going down and indeed something did go down so they get the text and america voted for johnny and Sally was like, oh, but I like how she handled herself. She was completely unbothered. Maybe internally she was shook, but outside she was cool as a cucumber. Then a second text comes in and then it reads that she can choose two other guys after her date with Johnny. And Trey is smiling like a Cheshire cat when he hears that. But then she ends up choosing um, Connor and actually sorry <laughs> america voted for connor which sent mackenzie into a tailspin and you know she was just crying crying like crazy then the sec when the second text came in for her to pick who she'd want to go out with she chose johnny and carrington Woo! All the ladies, all the girls who are coupled up had their men's taken. Snatched. Somebody was getting, well, somebody was acting up, so they got snatched up. Um, yeah, so the first date is Connor, right? With Connor. And when it was time to go, oh my gosh, Mackenzie was crying like crazy uncontrollably. And then she's like, I don't want to go. I don't want you to go. Why does America hate me? Why would America do that? Does it, does it mean that they don't like me? Why would they pick somebody who is coupled up? Somebody who's falling in love with her boyfriend? And I'm like, Mackenzie, Kenzie, 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 girl, you need to stop. You need to stop because... <laughs> it's all in your head baby girl and i think the reason why they chose connor was because they could see you getting a bit clingy and possessive of him and kind of sense that that would be unhealthy Abu, let me just take a minute to see if this thing has been recording yes <laughs> ready to judge me weren't you can you imagine after i've talked for 13 minutes it's not recording anywho so Connor is trying to like console her but then she's inconsolable and she's like I don't want you to go blah 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 so I think America just wants to give Connor a break give him breathing room and so Laura walks up and she's trying to be trying to assure her that everything's gonna be all right but she can't she can't even keep up a straight face she's just like low-key laughing low-key like in shock she's just shaking her damn head and that made me think hmm this chick could be kind of catty but for real i think mackenzie should have just like kept it cool and not overreacted and now this will give connor more reason to run and if there's any other um type of ceremony or any type of crowd audience viewership um related elimination i suspect mackenzie might be eliminated by the public just my thoughts not my feelings Oof, that's gonna be hard personally i wouldn't vote her out but that's just what i think is gonna happen anywho so she ends up 
telling them that they can go and I think she sensed the the judgment from Laura and she just walked away she's like I think I'm gonna be sick <sighs> dude they haven't even I can't I can't even because I'm trying to keep it clean but anywho, they haven't done serious things. So what happens when they do serious things? This chick is going to be like me and you to the grave, baby. <laughs> Sorry. I can't take myself seriously when I'm doing some of these commentaries. I can't. So, yeah. So chick is laughing at her under her breath. And then she walks away. Mackenzie doesn't know what what just happened or how Laura feels. But then she grabs Connor and she's like, poor guy, I pity you. If you, uh, just by one day, you have a whole girl in tears. And they go to their date. We don't see it. And they leave a teaser in the end about how their date is going to go. So that was the recap of episode seven. What did you guys think about new girl Laura? And how do you think about the guys having their heads turned completely like 360? Like they're owls up in that villa. There are no human boys there. They're owls. So from today henceforth, I shall refer to the fellas as owls. And how do you think about them getting their heads turned? Do you think they're fake or do you think they're being respectful towards their partners do you think the girls are overreacting or do you feel like 100 percent if you are in that situation you would feel exactly the same way they are feeling or would you be like me and act out and snatch somebody up they're gonna turn up missing thank you for taking the time to watch this and see you next time peace don't worry you are not there you are not that important i don't need anybody sliding in your dms so that's my view for the day we out here enjoying life okay that's it bye